absolutely gorgeous day for home renovations. That's right. This has just turned into a home renovations channel. Hey, watch this, watch this, watch this. <laughs> Wrath is impenetrable. Impenetrable. And it pe penetration. Pen Your place looks really good, dude. Thanks, man. I'm liking it. We got a little robot. What? It's called a dolphin or something. Or a shark. It seriously just cruises around and cleans the freaking pool, which is pretty rad. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Daily Driven Exotics. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys all about the home renovations inside the DDHQ, and then we're gonna throw Dave into the pool. What? what? Are, are you what? game? I don't like the water. I don't drink Honestly, he actually doesn't like water. He has a fear of swimming. What, what happened with all that? Well, when I was a young boy, when I was 12, I had shipped in a hot tub, passed out, and had to be resuscitated in a hot tub. So it's probably that, maybe. <laughs> So this is what we're doing. Before we fill this place up with cars and lifts, we wanna actually brighten it up. It's a little dark, we got some red. I know we have red in our logo. It's not the right red, we're gonna get rid of the red. We're also gonna remove all of this type of trim. I don't know what was going on in here, but we're gonna remove all this wood, and then we're gonna paint these gray walls and the red trim white. White. Championship white. Cha cha no, that's no? a darker white. We need a bright white because we want it to be Bright for filming, so you guys can see everything that we do in here. And well, let's get to it. First things first, we gotta remove these ugly brown cabinets. So let's do it. My battery's almost dead. Did you charge this? No. Your battery's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have two screws so far. First cabinet's unscrewed. How do you get it off? Uh, the key. Whoa. What? All right. One down. Two to go. Cabinet number two, ready to go. Anything in here? Nope. You got the water off? No, I gotta deal with this shelf first. Can you take care of that door for me? Thanks, bro. You're welcome. Coming portion of the vlog. This is the trap. You lose a wedding ring, it goes right in here. You're not married. Well, yeah, I lost my rings every time I can find them and have them do things. <laughs> Play button. One million subs. I recently bought a new Huracan Evo, and they gave me a model. Allegedly, this thing's worth a thousand dollars. We were warned too: if you hit the mirrors, they fall off. I just ripped the mirror off. See? I will say this: motorcycle parts are very light. We got a home reno visitor. A thousand bucks for the first one to put it in the pool. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna drive your car in the pool? How you doing? What's going on? Good to see you, bro. How are you? I'm great. All right. How's it going? <laughs> Good, man. Good. How's the uh, AMG treating you over there? It's great. It's a work in progress. Well, Everything always is, isn't it? This is it. This is the uh, new DD HQ, right? After you in the bubble, except to watch your guys' videos when I was in Edmonton. Oh yeah, playoffs, yeah. Playoffs. We were in a hotel for 50 days straight. They can't leave the hotel for 50 days. <laughs> they're locked up because they're playing hockey, the playoffs, but they're all stuck in a hotel. And really? When you get all the NHL players when you're playing hockey, can't go anywhere? No, we were stuck in a hotel. For in order to days. play with each other, right? Yeah. Scored a goal. Yeah, well, I try my best. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I for He's trying, to earn, trying to earn that paycheck. He's like, I saw you made a video. <laughs> By the way, on your guys' new headquarters. Thank you. Thank awesome. You, sir. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate well, it. Thank you. Guys you guys are doing great. You're so polite. I know. Canadians right here. <laughs> we'll rebuild <laughs> the garage and then we're gonna bring your car in here and rebuild this car. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, MTV, I, what was, what's that show when they West pimp, Coast- Pimp your ride. Pimp, pimp, we're pimping your ride, Jake. <laughs> Fish tank in there and everything. <laughs> we're gonna put a mini hockey rink in. <laughs> you got that? Those wires are live. Don't touch the wires. Don't touch the wires. Oh. Dude, dude, don't smash your face. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the last piece. I want to put a TV up here, you guys, and some really nice cabinetry and a cool new fridge. And then we're going to make this the lounge area. This whole spot right here. Dave, I'm talking to the audience. You're making too much noise. I am the audience. <laughs> and then obviously we'll have all the cars and the workspace behind us. This whole place is getting painted starting tomorrow. It's gonna take around three or four days. We hired a whole crew to do it. I'm not big on the labor side of things. As you've noticed, I've been molding the camera. Dave's been tearing things apart. Dave's done a lot of plumbing in his life. Big plumber, this guy. Working man. <laughs>
Boom. Everybody needs a handyman like Dave. Thank you, Dave, for doing your part in today's video. And we're gonna make this place look bright and white, just like that. There are the brand new wheels for the Huracan, you guys. The new Tire Slayer wheels are all stacked up right there. We have we have the front right here, wheel liners. We have the front bumper right here. What are those? These are the fenders for the uh, brand new Tire Slayer. We wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with the brand new Tire Slayer. That's right, the 2021, I titled it, I actually screwed that up. It's a 2020, <laughs> 2020 Huracan Evo rear wheel drive spider. So boom, look at this. I told you, we're not messing around with this project. We're getting right to it, to the nitty gritty. So we've already got the fenders removed. We have the whole front end removed and we're already getting things in place. Have this car completely built into the monster crazy vision I have in my head, which is why we bought this car. Triple black, black roof, black paint, black wheels, black interior, and has just a little bit of blue. Some blue calipers. We have this beautiful blue trim. The brand new sport seats. So carbon bucket style, but they actually have uh, some adjustability so you can actually slide them forward and back. Now you're probably wondering what the heck what are we doing with this car? Well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you a few hints. So we're gonna supercharge it. VF Engineering has teamed up with us to put this car at around 840 to 870 horsepower. It'll be 840 for sure guaranteed on like 91 pump gas. Now if I get 94 octane or some race gas, we can get up to 870 horsepower out of it, depending on the fuel type. Also, we will be working with Vorsteiner. I love working with them. That's why we have the fenders off. The fenders are gonna essentially be replaced with a louvered fender, just like my previous tire slayer, except for this time, those louvers are gonna be forged carbon fiber. So we got forged carbon vented louvers, and we got a forged carbon side skirt for down here on the side of the car. We're gonna keep it nice and clean and tasteful. Vorsteiner is also sending us some wheels. So we got wheels. I'm not gonna reveal what wheels, what model they are, but trust me, they're gonna look amazing. So we're going with a bit of like a motorsport racing theme on this car, a little bit. And then we're gonna do some real wild stuff that no one's ever seen before. Let me know what you guys would like to see done to the car. What does your imagination go to when you see the car like this? I'm always curious. I have a fun time kind of coming up with ideas in my head and then making them into reality. I'm Pretty cool to see it. I it's gonna be crazy. So you told them so far that, I talked about the color yet? Uh, no, we yeah. are gonna completely change. I'm gonna change the entire color of the car. And how are you doing that? This time. We're gonna paint it. We're painting a car. A brand new car with 75 kilometers. Brand new is getting painted. That feels crazy. It is crazy, it but is it's crazy. cool. We're gonna paint it matte black instead of shiny black. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Painter's like, no, we're not doing that. So we're painting it. We're not gonna tell you the color yet. No. Nope. That's gonna be a secret. So be, along the way, there's secrets. There's a little bit of secrets in this. So if you watch all the episodes, we're gonna give little nuggets. We're gonna tell you guys, you know, little little bits of information as we go. So in the next episode with this car, there'll be a big update. So you'll get to know what color the calipers will be. That's right, they're not staying blue. You're gonna know what color the car will be. And you'll also get to see a few little things like the forged fenders and the side skirts and that stuff will all be here. The wheels will be here. But this is a big project. This is one of the biggest projects ever. Now, one of the funnest things about this project is, does this look familiar to anybody? This bay, this area, right Right here, you'd have to be so OG to understand what this is. Do you even know what I'm talking about? This car is sitting exactly where my old Ferrari 458 was sitting when it was built. That's right, we are in the same body shop that built my Ferrari wide body 458. That's five years ago. Five years ago, the Ferrari sat here and got cut up, wide bodied, had the race parts installed. We shaved the stock mirrors off the doors. We shaved those off and we put the wide body carbon mirror on from the Ferrari 458 GT3 race car. We chassis mounted, we had all this disassembled on my Ferrari and we chassis mounted the racing wing onto the car. That was all performed right here, this exact spot. So we thought it would only be right to go down in history with the next Tire Slayer build being done at the exact same shop by the exact same gentleman. We'll reveal who that is and we'll reveal what shop this is. Some of you might know, if you know what body shop I'm in, you are like so OG, OG, so OG, like before Huracan territory, before, before Dave, before 50,000 subs. I think my car was built at around 30,000. Yeah. There were only 30,000 subs at the time. I don't know how many of you 30,000 are still around, but if you know, you know, this is crazy. This is super emotional and exciting. This is gonna take four weeks approximately to get done because we're doing a full repaint and there's extensive, extensive work being done to this car. So you guys get a good look at it. Before you know it, there'll be the next update.
All right, back at Lamborghini, David and I are talking about getting an Urus. We love the Urus, it's super practical, and well, hold on. What do we got here, boys? Jump in, Dave, we got an appointment to go to. <laughs> this thing sounds sick. Holy crap, this thing's fast. It's fast. Really fast. We have arrived at our destination. We're always wanting to do more track stuff and Dave and I wanted to invest in some like more serious racing equipment. We have gloves, we have some decent helmets, but we want to get some nicer helmets. Yeah. So we came to a, a, the only, what am I trying to we say? We found the only store that sells automotive, automotive. motorsports stuff. Everything is motorcycle. Most of our helmets we have are actually motorcycle helmets. So we thought we'd have a little bit of fun today, buy some safety gear. I want to get a crazy like $10,000 F1 helmet. Yeah, like Lewis Hamilton. We're gonna get Dave something that's like 500 bucks. $10,000 helmet? Your head's not worth that much money, Damon. My head's worth it. Your head's worth its weight and shit. So who's got the bigger head? We're about to find out. All right, guys, who's got the bigger head? I'm curious to know. Who's, uh -oh. got, who's got it? Uh-oh. Who's got it? Who's got it? It's Dave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my channel. You egotistical I my today, too, with that ego. Did you just say my channel? My channel. I started in 2013. You didn't start Just in the WRC. All right, now, when you get a helmet, it needs to be snug. Like, this is snug. Pretty snug. It's pretty snug. I like my looser rattles. Yeah, there's nothing that's gonna be loose on your big ass noggin now, we know that. We get some other stuff here, too. I think I need yeah. some bright gloves. Yeah. The triple uh, XL. Do you think this will even fit? Is it anything bigger and more famous and gold plated? The caviar comes out the side. Okay, will this fit my private jet? <laughs> you don't have a private jet. Hold on, look at me. <gasps> so we got two helmets, you guys. We got two helmet bags to match. We have Damon's custom one off. 30th anniversary OMP limited edition neon yellow driving gloves. And we got some really sick iridium visors to go with those. Okay, the Urus is a pretty sick vehicle. If in theory, I'm not saying this is what's gonna happen. If in theory, we traded in our hypercar P1 for four other supercars. We said, what would you guys get? And here's the list. A Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, beautiful V12. The other one was the Lamborghini Urus, believe it or not. I mean, we're talking, this is an SUV, but you guys wanna see something crazy happen with this vehicle on this platform. And it's got all the potential for that. Comment below what we would do to modify this. What's the craziest, most extreme thing you could picture happening to this vehicle I, ha I have a crazy idea i have a really wild idea but i want to see what you guys have so dd fam you're going to be a part of this journey shopping for potential four supercar replacements i'm not saying that's what we're going to do honestly really hard for me to come to terms with the fact that like we might not be able to make this happen with the p1 we might not be able to get it insured it might not be worth the risk for our company what about an svj now this and one other svj they have two svjs available here right now so here we have it p1 swap for a svj and urus you guys also said a 600 lt a 765 lt a carrera gt and last but not least recreating the tire slayer. recreating my old ferrari tire 2020 slayer. Version. so we'd have to get a 488 coupe or possibly an F8. They have no kits for the F8 mm. yet. There's not even a Ferrari GT3 wide body kit. So, but we could do a 488 and do the full wide body kit, the chassis mounted wing. Comment below what you guys think. Thanks for watching today's video. Smash that subscribe button, you guys. Stay tuned to the next episode because we're gonna continue on this path of looking for a hypercar trade-in for supercars. So stick around. See you guys in the next one, peace. I was trying to do. I was trying to support you guys. I was trying to support us. Yeah. Well, and here you are. Now we're golfing. Yeah. And rebuilding garages. I like it. All well, right. You guys ever need help? I'm here. Deal. I got handyman. We're not handyman at all. This sucks. Uh, yeah, we're just literally throw like those were actually in perfect condition. We just threw them right on the ground, and destroyed everything.